Hey everybody, on today's episode of Woodworking Out, we're going to be making something pretty simple and might seem a little unusual to those unfamiliar, but it's one of my most used pieces of equipment, the dislocate bar. The shoulder dislocate has been popularized by the gymnastics community, namely former U.S. national team coach Christopher Summer. The dislocate has many benefits for internal shoulder strength and flexibility. Summer says it leads to indestructible shoulders. Crush your enemies! This includes the rotator cuff and other small muscles and tendons deep inside the shoulder. Some practitioners work their way up to weights as high as 45 pounds or more. However, if you're just getting started, it's recommended to start with only a lightweight wooden dowel. I'm going to leave some links in the description that go into further detail on the dislocate itself and how to perform it properly. That's enough intro, let's get into the build. You don't need much for this project. A long dowel for the bar, a thinner dowel for the pins, and some weights. The diameter of the bar will be determined by the hole in the center of the weights that you have. The hole in my weights are one and one quarter inch, so I got a one and one eighth inch thick dowel. The length of the final bar could be variable depending on your current flexibility. I cut mine down to 66 inches from a 96 inch pine dowel, and honestly, that should work for most people. You could take some measurements of your grip on the dowel before you make any cuts, since 66 inches might still be too narrow to safely do the exercise. Next I'll cut two 3 inch long pieces from my half inch dowel for the pins. These will keep the weight directly in the center of the bar. I'm going to try these little guys on this project. I made them so I can clamp the bar to my sawhorses to keep it still for the next step. It's just two extra pieces of 2x4 I clamped together and drilled a hole through. After that, I measured to the center of my bar, 33 inches, and made marks for the width of my weight, which is 3 quarter inches. Since the wooden pins have a diameter of 1 half inch, I need to move the center of my drill holes 1 quarter inch over so that the weight will ultimately sit snugly between the pins. I used a 1 8 inch bit to drill a pilot hole through each of my markings. Then using a half inch bit that matched the diameter of the pins, I drilled holes from both sides of the bar to prevent the wood from blowing out. did some light sanding to clean up any rough edges. I'm not going for perfection here. I also sanded my pins on all sides so they would slide in and out a little easier. You have to be careful here because you don't want them to be too loose, otherwise they might just fall out. I'm not even sure if sanding the pins is necessary, I just enjoy the masochism of hand sanding something. I also rounded the tips to make them look a little nicer. And that's it, a very simple way to have an adjustable weighted dislocate bar. Like I said, you don't need much weight to make this thing effective. The bar alone can already work wonders for your shoulders. Take your time with this piece of equipment and it will reward you greatly. When it comes to weighted stretches, the results come much slower than traditional hypertrophic workouts. Muscles adapt to training in about three months, tendons and ligaments can take around nine months, and your bones can take one to two years. When I first started using this exercise, the bar would just barely scrape the top of my head. After a few years of using it regularly, I'm able to do what you see here. It just takes some patience, and knowing what you're doing is working slowly but surely. It's just so, so important to listen to your body and be careful. If you hadn't heard of the way to dislocate before this, I hope this video helped show you something new. Thank you for watching.